Hey, good morning. Welcome to Dreamland Acres. I'm John. Thanks for joining us today. We have a good episode. We have some more rock coming. So I think it's number two rock that we're going to uh, have coming in down on the pad today. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to get the next layer completely done on it. And then over the weekend we're supposed to have some rain. Last night it got down pretty cold. Uh, I was in the 30s. So hopefully you like the episode. If you do, smash that thumbs up, click subscribe, and tick the little bell to get notified on all future videos. Thanks for joining us. On with the video. Right. Looks like they're coming. Here's the first load. Uh, we only got uh, 24 tons dropped on on this this load, so we're gonna have another 24 of this brought today, and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna have uh, 48 ton dropped. Uh, tomorrow which is a little bit finer stone so um, we'll show you all that in one video so for right now I got to get in the tractor and get it warmed up and uh, get ready to move this thing for when the guy gets here so I can be ready all right let's get inside and warm this bad boy up Just got 24 more ton delivered today, uh, which is right here. So I'm going to spread this out a little bit and then uh, we're gonna make way for uh, a lot more tomorrow coming. We got three truckloads uh, hopefully gonna come tomorrow. So stick with us and uh, we'll see how much of this we can get moved without damaging anything. know and I got all the way back here and I forgot the darn camera so I'm gonna walk that way and I guess I could ride the buggy back too because I left that over there so let's go take a walk through the forest here okay now let's go up the hill up the hill Okay. Now, 
I just got to go right over here. All right, so we brought Big Red back. We're gonna give her a bath. It's pretty dirty, so hope you like it. So while we were doing a quick clean job uh, on the tractor here, um, just a couple things that I, I just want to show people who are interested in the 5520 Branson. Um, and that is the screen for the radiator. To get to this screen, the screen is right here. To get this out, you literally have to disconnect the air filter, your overflow tube and this little rubber mat there have to be taken off just to get this out and i think anybody that wants to clean it regularly they might not like that so just a little tip for branson maybe make that a little easier to get to hey good morning everyone it's now friday morning i'm gonna head down to the uh head down to the pad area and wait for the dump truck guy to come. I'm going to move around a little bit of rock, but I'm going to be waiting for him. So let's go down. Another rock delivery. Alright, so we just got the first load spread. Uh, this is 24 tons all the way out. So we got two more loads coming of 24 tons. So the next one's going to get spread right here. And then we need some out front there to kind of make that level out front. So we'll see how this goes. Uh, but first load went a-okay. Hey, if you like the video, smash the thumbs up, click subscribe. Here's morning, a beautiful wife. Good morning, y'all. What time is it? I think it was like it's early. Yeah, we didn't even eat breakfast yet, so. Oh, now it's nine. But we don't have time to go eat right now because he's on his way back with the second load and we gotta spread it so he can get in and you out of here. I was thinking we need more than just one strip of that here. Well, I'm gonna have him go closer to the to this line here. Yeah and uh, I'm gonna have them dump a lot. Yeah. And then we've got another dump load oh, okay. coming. So he can come down the middle if I need to, and he can dump some out there. So hopefully it's enough, we'll see. All right, so he just came and delivered the second load here. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get any video of it because Nicole's back up at the house 
cooking breakfast because we haven't eaten yet and I, I got to keep this going so that he's able to come back and dump his loads uh, where we need to. So um, as you can see behind me, we've got our second load back there dumped uh, all the way out. I'm not going to spread anything until I did up front here. This was a huge mound here, but uh, I needed to be able for him to be able to get in here. It looks like the bank that I'm building here is starting to take shape. Uh, the last dump load we're probably going to run right down the center and then turn out here and finish dumping right here so I can finish my apron right here. This way we have a good way to turn in when we're using the dump trailer. Uh, like back there that trailer is going to be moved up here and all the equipment which is sitting on dirt is now going to be taken and put back on the rocks so this way it's not sitting in the mud and uh, you know you get rust on everything so as soon as uh, we get this done we'll be able to disconnect the backhoe because that's the next thing to be able to get the implements over there uh, disconnect that backhoe that'll get put over there the trailers will get put over there the only trailer I think we're not going to put up there right now is the flatbed it seems to be doing just fine right there. So I'll try to get the truck once he comes up. I'll try to get this one on film, but it's been tough because this stuff is so cloudy that I'm working with the driver right now so that we get an even spread or a spread to where I need it in the places where I need it. So we'll come back and talk to you then. But I did want to let everybody know about because we went into such a cold, cold weather spell that all of our grapes that we planted so it wasn't just one of them, it was every single grape plant we have withered up and I'm thinking it's just because of the, uh, the cold weather if anybody has any information or comments Put them down and below i'd like to hear i hope they're not dead even though we didn't pay for them it was still a lot of work so but everything else looks to be doing well one blueberry plant because of the cold i believe but we'll see what happens we'll update you oh and some of the seedlings that we planted in the house are starting to sprout now so while we're waiting and we're in the tractor here, um, people that want to know a little bit more about the Branson, uh, especially anything over, I think it's 25 or 30 horsepower, uh, you have a regeneration feature that's on pretty much every tractor I know of except for Mahindra. Um, you're the only company that does not have a regen feature. That being said, uh, I've seen a lot of videos of, of people using their tractors and them not being able to use it to its full capacity because it goes into regen and then you're not able to use the full horsepower because it's in regen mode. It has never gone into regen and one of the things that the people over at Painine uh, Farm Supply told us, uh, and I guess this is true, um, you know if you're going to run your tractor at idle all day, it's going to go into regen for you. So if you don't want it to go into regen, when, especially when you want to use it, is probably when it's going to happen, um, run it at a higher RPM. And, and when I run it at that RPM, uh, or even 2000, and the other reason is because I have constant speed on all my hydraulics, which is important when you're loading. Um, I don't want the loader to, to be changing speed on me because of the RPM of the tractor. So I leave it there, never had a problem. 
it's never going into regen and that's because uh, it keeps the engine hot enough so that it burns off all of the carbon uh, that goes in that uh, filter, that regen filter, whatever it's called. And while I'm waiting, uh, Nicole already made me breakfast, but I haven't gotten to go back and eat it yet because I'm still down here. And uh, I just, she came down to visit me and I took her back up to the house to get her car because she forgot she has to take grandpa to the doctors. So if anybody's wondering where she's still at, she had to go to the doctors with grandpa. So she'll be back later on. Driver's coming, I hear him. Let me get get out of the old Branson here. Yep, yeah. well let me call you back, buddy. So this is the last and final load, hopefully. Here she comes, right behind me. So if everybody can see that last load coming. Guy's been really nice, so he's been taking a lot of time. Now yeah, hopefully everything goes well. All right, so here we go. We're starting our dump. Coming down. All right, so we just finished up getting our last load of rock dumped and now I'm going to go back and eat my breakfast. And there he goes. So everything worked out perfect. We got our pad done. Now I just have to spread it out and it's starting to rain right now. So it might get a little compacted today. We'll see. So if everybody wants to know what my honey made for me today, that's what we got. Farm fresh eggs. Not from our farm, but from another farm. That's what I got to eat. Let's show you our little seedlings while we're in here. Our little sprouts. So, we're starting to sprout. But nothing yet on the uh, strawberries. So... And we got some over here that are sprouting. All right, I'm gonna eat, I'm starving. It's almost lunchtime probably. All right, just finished my breakfast lunch. And look who's back. How was your trip today? Good. Great. Let's go down and start moving some rock. All right, we're just getting down here and I will have to say that it is cold this morning. So, like really cold today. Ooh. All right, we got some more work to do. So let's set up some cameras and start moving some rock. All right, we're back in Big Red here and uh, we're gonna start moving some rock. show for me back up there she is right there our little camera girl say hi camera girl well we just finished up down there at the uh, parking pad area so we just got home I think Nicole wants to eat some lunch and then we're gonna work on our path down here now that we've got cut into the woods to help out uh, her dad and get that chopped up that's his project so we're gonna probably grab some lunch and then uh, we'll head over down the hill and start clearing some brush so I hope everybody enjoyed watching leveling out all those rocks because that was uh, what, 70 tons of rocks delivered today so that was a good bit I think Nicole's pretty much done with all the rocks huh yeah, I think it costs too much money for just a driveway. <laughs> I mean, a carport area, but you know, do it right the first time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And by the way, Monday or Tuesday, we're heading to the dump. So we're going to get rid of all this trash that we've accumulated since we moved here. Oh, my God. And a little more. So stay tuned for a dump run. Yay. Well, it's a pretty gloomy day today. It's actually drizzling a little bit, but I think it's pretty good weather to go down and put the hatchet to the test. So we're gonna take the Milwaukee hatchet down, down toward a little path down there and uh, we're gonna get some stuff cleared. 
Uh, so I'm going to take you down there and show you what we've done so far. I'm not really going to do much filming of the actual clearing with it, um, but uh, we'll show you before and after. So come on down. So I just started, but I forgot to film <laughs> what we've got done so far. So as you can see, I've got a little bit more to go here, but we're right at a uh, big root system, tree system. And uh, I think I'm going to be able to take everything down with the hatchet here. So come follow us, but uh, I'll show you what we got afterwards once I get it cut. So we'll see if it can handle it. So I think we're finished up for the day. Today is Friday the 23rd, and it's probably around 4 o'clock or so now, 5 o'clock. So we're all finished, huh, babe? Yeah. <laughs> She took it easy today. Yeah, because I did garden work. <laughs> she did gardening work yesterday. Oh. Let's take you down here and show you what we got finished. So I know it don't look like a lot because all of this is stuff that I've cut. But all this was overgrown. Couldn't walk back here earlier. And now you can kind of see the grass right behind this now so we've cleared all the way down to about where we wanted to now we just got to work this up a little bit and we're going to take this bank and work this bank up a little bit we're going to take the trek back up to the house she's already on her way it's a pretty steep incline here so I'm going to sign off now. Thanks everybody for joining Dreamland Acres today. I hope everybody enjoyed the episode. If you did, smash that thumbs up, click subscribe, and tick the little bell to get notified on future videos. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next one.